Hey, welcome back to the channel. As I said previously, I had a startup this week, so let's check it out. You are now watching Farming with Duffy Ag. So, for the past six years, three years working at the local dealership, this is the kind of stuff I do, give you a little insight of what it, what goes on. Um, I didn't do any of the videoing during the startup. That's not my place. Um, I'm here to work and make sure everything goes smooth, but we're at Richardson's Ice Cream, Middleton, Middleton Mass, in their new four unit facility. If you want to see some of the video of startup and what's going on inside the facility from day to day slide on over mass dairyman adam goodwin manages this place um yeah he'll give you some insight there you can ask questions uh but we'll check it out so this is going to be event um facility bathroom viewing window uh pretty much see the robots go on um, if you haven't been here, you're local, check it out. And this project's been in the works for 10 years now. The robots have been here for two. Franklin Builder out of PA built the facility. It's set up to milk. Um, 200, 240 cows. pretty sweet layout I like it a lot um, a lot of space a lot of cow comfort two pens we'll go in and check it out but we'll do a walk around of it so you got a grain bin on each side that feeds the robot this is set up so that cows will go out to pasture so there's a smart gate there they've always put cows on pasture they got to do a little bit of landscaping there. Their heifer facility over there. Um, but they'll have the ability to let cows out um, through a gate using the ID, using the ID tags, um, and they'll go out to pasture. Then they'll come back in. Um, when I was in New Zealand, we did a lot of that. So this is a complete new facility. Um, our barn was a complete new facility. I have one other, two other barns that were complete new facilities. Um, and then retrofits. This is a free flow barn. All but two of our farms are free, are free flow. Mine and one other dairy. Uh, it really is preference. It's layout. It's how you're gonna manage things. So I get people who ask me both ways. We do it, we do everything with that. So this will be, 20th robot this will add and make it the 20th robots that I work with um, new manure pit to go with it it's an absolute beautiful barn Franklin Builders does an awesome job so we were very glad that we could get them up here and have them part of it so they were running cows from the old facility over to here we were doing feed only getting cows ready um, if you have the ability to do that, you're going into a robotic facility, absolutely do it. Um, it's great on the cows. Cows are relaxed. They know what's going on. They know the grain. So a lot of time is spent on prep um, and making sure the first few weeks go really, really well. That's a big part of what I do um, when I worked for D. Laval for three years. That's all I did. Teach people how to milk cows in a robot. So... With that being said, we'll go jump inside, check it out. I'll give you a brief tour. Like I said, if you want more of it, more of this facility, um, slide on over. Mass Dairyman, I'll put a link down in the comments for you guys. So go give him a follow. Ask him questions. He's going to learn. So if you're a dairy farmer and you're thinking robots, which a lot of people have, um, ask me about them. 
you can ask him. He He's going through it right now. Ask him what he would change. Um, ask him what he would do differently, how he's going to manage, what his thoughts are. Um, yep, so you got two robots right here. You can see both from outside, one really good from inside. I don't think it's my place to show this building off. So I'm sure you're going to see that in one of Adam's videos if you do slide over and watch it. It's it's awesome. Very beautiful. So well done. So here we have it. So there are ice cream producers here. Um, so we got that set up to load into a milk truck. Um, since that's where all their milk goes to their own plant. Got a big milk room. Some of it's still a mess because, well, we started milking cows four days ago. Utility room, never enough space. It would work out well. Um, the two vacuum pumps, the air pump, the air compressors, all the water. Yeah. There's nice room in here. It's not cramped. Back of the tank, got cooling compressors inside, got a bathroom, locker room, the office. So, pretty much a lot of what I used to do for dealer valve was this and telling people how to run it, telling people what to do. So, it's worked out good. So, nice office. You get a great view outside. So, you got your pack area, pre fresh bin. Just had one born. Go check that out. Cow cab. I gotta slide back over. Explain how to actually build, enter a new cow. I'm gonna build a template that allows you to click one button and set up all the settings. Here we are. Two robots, L shaped, able to sort through. This cow's waiting to get an activity collar. Basically a Fitbit, um, but very simple layout on this side. Feed pusher, fresh cow, fresh cows right behind it. Got a pack area for pre-fresh, fresh cows. Um, right now, all we got is pre-fresh in there. Like I said, beautiful barn. So these cows are going to be able to slip over here access one robot here that gate will get pulled out they can walk underneath the finger gates and then this will be a group um, that will have access to outside like I was saying through the smart gate which is right there and they can come back in through the finger gates um, but there'll be two robots supporting this group um, with the pack able to access those two robots supporting this group so right now we there's 80 some cows over here um, between the pack cows and the other cows, I think there's 40 some over here. We just started this group yesterday. Um, things are great, just based on manpower. So we started that group on Tuesday at noon. You see cows are milking, things are good there. Ninkos out there, feed pushers coming out. So awesome barn though. Really like the layout, like the roof. Um, ours has no trusses um it's warm in it right now so we got four cow brushes which are the best thing personally de valve has ever sold um some classical music jamming but alley scrapers into a gutter cleaner out to the end real nice barn so appreciate adam letting me uh film show you what I actually have been doing for the last week because I haven't got a video out um, I'll give you an idea of what I do day to day as far as my job that really pays the bills so. farming and everything else is great but this job and having the experience traveling the world before with Dela Valve that really allowed me to have a set of skills um, that gave me this opportunity to teach people how to do it so we'll check out these two robots there's the fresh cow so three pens 
to go with it. Pens for calves before they get moved um, down to their heifers, calf area. Trim chute to allow hoof trimming in between. So what goes on here is you got two robots servicing this pen. Like I said, the pack area can come around, go into that robot. These gates actually can sort cows based on what we put in permission, what we put on group. So you can push your cows from here through, get them through the robot, and they'll sort back in it automatically. Um, another thing is you can feed your pre-fresh cows that are on the pack in the robot, train them, and they'll go back automatically. It also allows for sorting. Uh, chemical layout, pretty simple there. Robot room. Pretty slick. Yeah. So like I said, right now, we're done milking those cows. The geats are open. We have had a few cows that have come in and milked by themselves in between, um, but we're not at capacity on this side. The other side, um, last night we left, I'm trying to think what time it was. Midnight or so, nobody came back in until five or six. I think it was six. They only had 20 cows that were over 12 hours, which is red right now. Um, so they pushed them in, caught up, milk truck pickup, pushed them in, caught up. Uh, that's pretty much how startup goes. We push a little, we push at the beginning, we teach them, um, get everything going, then we let cows be cows. Humans get in the way of the cows being cows. Um, and the biggest thing there is they stir things up. If we can catch up and get out of the way, more cows will milk without us interacting in them. They want to be in the robots. They really enjoy it. Um, they get grain in the robots. Um, they like repetition. So the first few days, it's stressful for everybody. Um, the cows aren't used to change. They don't like change. Um, so it's key to keep everything calm. Things here went really, really well. So I'm glad at where we're at. Uh, it's awesome. I've, I'm, I'm very happy, which I've done this, like I said, New Zealand was my internship. 24 robots, that was a lot of learning. Um, between D Laval and what I'm doing now in New Zealand, I might have started three, 400 robots in total on, uh, I'm trying to think, 100 facilities, maybe a little less than 100 facilities. 224 units, uh, 8 unit, 10 unit, um, are 6, 4s, 2s, 1s, so all sorts of scales with robots, which is awesome. We'll go step next door. Not really sure what this room's gonna use for yet. But same thing, it's a robot, got the panel up. Um, mostly we lift these panels for startup so the cows can't see in, can't see people get freaked out. Um, this room, since it services the pack, has a divert rack. So as a cow comes in, it IDs her, says what that destination is. If she's a treated cow, fresh cow, um, moves it over to a position that we pre-select. Pre Once she's done, it washes that line um, automatically, kicks her back in to, if we put her in the press or if we put her back out in the general population. And then from there, it goes back melting. So pretty slick, allows you to harvest colostrum. Um, quite a few of our barns do have that. It really depends what you're using the colostrum for. I gotta change that. Here we are. It's dark so you can't actually see inside there. Like I said, I don't think it's my, it is neat in there. Post and beam and everything, so. Robot here. She's just hanging out. She doesn't even have milk permission. Come on, girl. Come on. Yeah, they really enjoy the robots. Come on. We'll let her get back to it. So one robot there. One robot here. 
expect it to make 39.7 pounds at 37.5 right now still milking along so 420 which is 58 days in milk gives you some idea so she did kick off two units um functionality let's say i don't know if she kicked it off or not let's start put that back on yeah that is a big part of why the valve robots are awesome to work with you can start things you can stop things you can work with heifers that kick dance um that just need to relax not over stress them and take 20 minutes to attack so it's a big part but yeah she's back milking a little bit so she must have kicked that off so it's actually telling us that she was kicking off she kicked that one last time so that's all the information that adam's gonna have available to him um and it's us me teaching him as far as look at this report this is how you're gonna help manage your system um and then it's figuring it out there's so much information with robots that it's an overload and you can crash yourself because you just don't know um so we're starting off here's seven reports here's how you can manage the barn let's go from there um well, back to milking cows so it's washing the cow right now that's its own separate system that's as close to what you would do in a parlor or in a tie stall the prep the pre let down time warm water swirling around with a little solution vacuum dry the teat so you got a clean drive try clean dry teat end and then you get 60 seconds of let down in between from when it washes to when it attaches so that's going on that's exactly how it is intended best let down because of that yeah that's this side it, great barn so like i said you can sort through one robot to the other which allows you to put cows into the commitment area which means they have to go through the robot um so cows that are overdue or cows that you're training as far as they're past when you want them to milk um there is some training process of that we're in a free flow barn so cows can get up and eat and lay back down um we don't have a gate that's telling them hey we want to milk you first before you go to eat that's the biggest difference between guided and free so utilization of the robot and cows that come in that don't have milking permission like the one we just saw uh prior but they'll sort th sort through and we'll say okay you're you're rejected swing this gate swing her over there and allow you to manage that cow individually in a smaller area so breeding cows things like that it's a management tool that's the biggest thing instead of going through a herd of 120 cows and trying to get one cow to breed um get her locked up and then breed her uh that's the biggest thing with robots is uh figuring out how it manages and how it works to make it work for you well there you have it richardson's ice cream new barn 4d laval robots feed pusher awesome cows awesome comfort beautiful barn hope you guys enjoyed watching it like i said if you haven't done so go check out mass dairyman adam goodwin been awesome working with them awesome working with the whole crew really excited for where this barn is going to go so if you want to see more adventures of what's going to go on in this barn and what goes on here go slide on over like his channel subscribe check the videos out ask questions whatever you want to do but that'll do it for me if you haven't subscribed to my channel first time watching or don't have a youtube account go make one like it follow it note hit the notification button plenty of good content coming this year so have a good one thanks for watching see you on the next video